guys, how's it going? I'm so excited today for training. I've got a lot to talk about, so I'll wait a couple seconds for people to get on. A couple things while I'm waiting. My Sassy Z is supposed to arrive today. My first shipment of Sassy Z. And I'm bound and determined not to have it stolen. So if the doorbell rings, I may have to get up and go get the Sassy Z. Another thing is my dog just peed on my bed and it really made me mad. So now I'm having to wash all of my bedding, the down comforter, I had to take apart the duvet, and that's such a pain. But I decided to wear my banana shirt, because I'm bananas for you guys. Oh my gosh. Anyways, hi Erin. So a few of the girls and I had, oh my gosh. A few of the girls and I had training on Saturday, no, Sunday, and while well, we sat for a long time and learned lots of stuff, we did sit for a very long time. Okay, I gotta figure, figure my tripod out here. It's being wonky. Give me a sec. Okay. Hi, Des. I think we're good now. So it started to generate a lot of um, things in my mind, I guess you could say. So as you know, I was in direct sales before this. It's been several years. I, was, I did Mary Kay when I was a newlywed, which was 21 years ago. And then I did Premier Designs Jewelry for five years and was actually pretty successful. But it became really kind of a burden on my family. I don't know if that's the right word. The grind was a burden on, on me. Um, and so it got me thinking a lot about what I did in my other businesses to make them successful, how they were different, how they were the same. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the things that I did then, but also I wanted to talk about our momentum in our business. As you know, well, I don't know. April was kind of a, a rough month for my business. It slowed down a lot, which I had another month like that. I think it was January, no, February. Um, and I complained a little bit to my accountability partner because I was having a rough time. I had a Facebook party that was just totally <laughs> horrible. Um, and yeah, sales just weren't great. It was like crickets on my Facebook page. So it made me kind of think, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I've got to continue with my momentum. And so I started to brainstorm things that, that I thought of. But I wanted to start out with kind of a quote. Think about, you know, we're going to fail a lot of times in our businesses. It's just part of this type of business. We're just going to fail. But I want you to remember to fail forward. And what that means to me is those little failures are the stepping stones to bigger things. We have to learn from those failures and move forward. So April's over. Thank heavens. I had a, a rough April it, with my business, with my family. It was just a yucky month. And it was my birthday month. It should have been really good. Anyways, so let's start with some of the ideas that I thought about. The first one is bookings. Whether they be in-home demos, Facebook parties, one-on-ones, a U plus two, whatever they may be, you guys need to be striving for having a couple of those a month, if not once a week would be so awesome. Because as you have one of those parties, I don't really like to call them a party because I feel like people are, don't, they don't like to have parties anymore. Um, as they have those demos, as you have those demos, you can make an extra $200 to $400 a week. That's almost $1,000 a month for you and your family. Um, so scheduling those parties are really important. But it's hard to schedule parties if nobody wants to schedule parties. So um, one of the things that you can do is create an awesome incentive for 
on your on your group or send a text or a message to every single customer or every person that you know. Some awesome incentives. So some of the things that I thought of, you could do um, you could do an event where they come over and make a lippy lip scrub and try on lippy. So a lippy and lip scrub event, or you could offer a cute makeup bag with a color to your hostess. You could do shadow scents and a little brush, and you could you can find these little brushes really cheap on Amazon. You could even do, depending on, say, you know, try to boost your sales. If the host, hostess gets $400 in sales, you'll, add, you'll throw in an extra shadow sense. Shadow sense is awesome. And then another one I thought of is mascara and a uh, eyelash curler. I had two mascaras. I sold one, and I think somebody stole one out of one of my, my box at one of my parties because I can't find it which makes me sad, so I don't have a mascara to show you. But uh, mascara and a, and a curler. But I think doing a like a, a lip and lip scrub event would be fun. You could have different scents or flavors for the lip scrub. And people just, they like to get together and talk. So that's something that you could do. Um, for those in-home demos, some of you have done them, some of you haven't. But it is so important to schedule off of those demos. And one of the ways that you can do that is by getting your hostess involved. Find out before the demo who they think will be the most um, open to having a, a party demo, party demo, whatever. And you can get them to help you by um, having the hostess talk up how much fun it was and she's so excited to ha you know, get some her free lip color and and just have her really talk it up and then she can say to the girl that that she thinks you know you should have a party you know you can earn some great some great products when you start doing hi Jenna that's my sister when you start doing those in-home demos remember that w when people come to those they want an experience they want um, they don't want to just show up and you know, they kind of just want to be pampered a little bit. So make it really nice and fun for them. And especially the first 10 minutes of being with the customers, don't be the consultant. Don't just stand over there in a corner like, oh, you know, get in there and talk with the people, get to know them, make them feel relaxed, show them that you're not like a pushy sales lady. Just, just have fun with them. So you want to remember that. Um, Learning to overcome objections at the demos and even at your Facebook parties. Learning to overcome objections, memorizing scripts of ob objections. And we can do a training on objections that we get um, maybe next week or the following week and talk about some of the things that you can say to overcome those objections. And if somebody, um, as you're going through checkout, just say, I see you picked out all these great colors. How about you earn one for free and have a demo with some of your friends? You know, just make it fun. Don't make it pushy. And once you schedule with that hostess, that your potential hostess, make sure you're checking in with them every single week. If they need to schedule six weeks out, that's fine, but get it on the calendar that day. Just tell them, I don't want to lose your spot. I fill up really quickly. So let's get that on the on my schedule today. So we have the tag team objections list, I think. Yeah, we should go over that, Desiree. Um, yes, come, overcoming objections and kind of knowing what you need to say will really help you feel more confident and will get you in the door easier. Um, and write this down somewhere, because everybody thinks, oh, I can't schedule those, those parties, I can't, you know, nobody's gonna wanna schedule with me, blah, 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 blah. But write it down that you are a booking magnet, that you attract bookings wherever you go and change that in your mind so that you can have a more positive look at scheduling parties and events and things like that. Oh, guys, don't let me forget to do the drawing before I leave because I might forget for the spot card. So you're a booking magnet, booking magnet. Think about that. One other thing on bookings. Um, 
hosting a mystery hostess show. I did this several times when I had my jewelry business. Um, you could do this on Facebook and also in-home demo, but I do challenge you ladies to have an in-home demo. The women, they love to actually try the lip scents on. It makes a big difference. Um, but a mystery hostess show, basically you get all of the orders from that, that um, event and you draw a name from the orders and whomever, whomever's name you draw is the hostess for that night. So after all the orders have come in, so they will get, say they, it's a $400 event, they're gonna get 20% off plus a lip color for whosoever name that you um, draw. So that's another thing that you could do. Um, and you could also put it, your incentives in, you know, whoever, the first six people to message me get a free lip color and makeup bag for scheduling a uh, demo. You know, just make it fun. You wanna create like a, the first, the first six or the first three, you wanna make them think, oh, everybody's messaging this lady. So anyways, all right, moving on. Does anybody have any questions about bookings or Schedule those one-on-one -on -one demos. I have had some big sales from these ladies that come over. They sit with me, we talk. I mean, sometimes they take a little while, but they try on everything and they, they love them. So one-on-one -on -one demos are really awesome. Create, this is something that I'm gonna be do, doing, create these graphics in your groups. How can you, you know, what you can do to try lip sense, create a, you know, a graphic with a cute one-on-one -on -one or you plus two or lip and sip or lemonade and lippy or anything like that. Just promote those to make it seem less like, oh, it's a party, one of those parties, you know, make it fun. All right, moving on, vendor events. I have not done a vendor event yet. Alex talked about it last week. Every time I try to find a vendor event, it seems like there's already a Lip Sense lady that in there, which surprises me because there's not that many reps here in Colorado, but I think in my little town area, it's a little more saturated, which I'm not quite sure why. But um, you can look in your local chamber of commerce and search Google, Google, search Google, search Google and your Facebook groups for vendor events. Some of them cost money, money, some of them don't. So um, I would start out with a small one and just see how it goes. Now, on Monday, I did an, an event. We kind of created, recreated our own vendor event. It was me plus three other reps from other companies at some lady's house. I sold $500 in product that day. I am doing my own little vendor event on Saturday, next Saturday, it's for Mother's Day. This will probably be backwards, but um, it's my treat yourself, treat yourself mom and daughter event. And it's a uh, Lip Sense, Shop Stevie, and Zayaya, or I don't know how, even how to say it, but it's workout wear for um, moms and daughters to come to. And it's not costing me any money. I created a vendor event. So get together with some of your other um, direct sales friends and create an event. I'm going to be posting these on a bunch of mail, mailboxes this weekend around our neighborhood to try to get some other people to come in and I may have my, my Morgan and Caden go and take them around to houses because I had kids so they can do my dirty work. Okay. Um, and when you go to the, we need somebody in our, in our team to become a vendor event specialist. Um, I don't have a clue really how to do them. Each vendor event is gonna be different. You're gonna either be going there to, for potential new customers, or you're gonna be going there to just get sales. So I would love it if anybody knows anything about vendor events to shed some light on what they're going to do and teach us about it. All right, networking. Do any of you guys, are any of y'all on uh, like a mom's group or give me a thumbs up if you're in a mom's group or a uh, just like a networking group? Did you have to pay money for that? I don't know. I'm not in any groups, but um, you can look on Facebook and join those groups so that um, you can network within 
that community. Don't be afraid. Let people know what you do. Jenna, are you on a mom group? Tell me. I should be in a support group for moms with teens, really, is what I should be in. Um, one thing you can do, and people don't need to know, you need to just create your own challenge. Just on Facebook, is that what you mean? Yeah, on Facebook, um, I know that there's like mops or something like that, which is like a local thing that you can go and do, but get in those groups on Facebook or wherever. I mean, you, I mean, you don't really even have to leave your house with this business. People are building it just by using the internet. So, but if you want to get out and meet some new people, join some groups in your community. <clears throat> um, so create your own challenge. I did this a couple times when I was in my other direct sales company. When I needed to like drum up a little bit of business, I would create a challenge and say, oh, and send a text or whatever to all the people, all my past customers and say, I've been challenged to hold four parties this month. I've been challenged to get 100 no's this month. I've been challenged to share the business with five people this month or whatever it, whatever it is and say, you know, I've been challenged to do this and I'm trying to get help, will you help me? And usually people, you'll get a few that will, will help you. But it'd be great if you set a goal, I'm gonna hold two parties this month or four parties or whatever it is that you need to do in order to increase your business. <clears throat> okay. Okay, be a product of the product. This is still something I have to work on. Like I use all the products. I love the products. But one thing that I love is like I'm doing this live video and I'm wearing this shirt, but I could not be wearing any pants because I mean, I just don't like to get dressed up. I mean, I am wearing pants, but I don't like to get dressed up. I'm the first to be the go to go to the grocery store straight out of bed with my hair up, my hoodie on, without a bra on, and go get groceries, because I just don't care. Um, so I'm trying to be better at being a product of the product. I've been wearing my stripes more. I've been trying to do my face at least three times a week, where before it was only once a week. Um, and then something that we learned at our training is carrying one of those Lucy bags. A great ne networking group is build like a boss. Thanks, Erin. Build like a boss, y'all. My lady boss girls. Um, so, what was I saying? The Lucy bags. I will be the first to admit, again, that I think these are tacky. However, I realize that if any of you girls get one, which you will, I'm sure, um, I'm not going to think that they're tacky anymore because I can see the how good they are for your advertising and I'll probably get one just to be a walking advertisement. So Lucy bags are those bags that have the clear compartments in the, the front. Uh, Lucky 7 bags, yeah I looked at those the other day. You can tuck your lip sense colors in there, your top sellers, you can put a beauty book in there, you can put a little sign that says ask me about my lipstick or whatever and carry those around as an advertisement. Carry it so that everybody can see it. Um, and hand out those beauty books. So beauty book, put a card on there. When samples come back in, put a card and a sample on there. And then on the beauty book, you have a post-it note so that you can get their information right away. Say, okay, here, I'm so glad that you, you know, are interested in my lip stuff. Here you go. You can tell I'm not good at scripts. I can't even talk. But um, and then you get their number or their texts or their email or whatever, you keep the post-it note and you give them the beauty book. So you have their info right away. And don't wait, do not wait to contact them. You should contact them within 24 hours because by then it's forgotten. This could be in the trash by then, but contact them and get them in your group so that they can see your videos and see how it works. Desiree is our script master. Yes. We need you to put together a bunch of scripts. Oh, the doorbell just rang. You guys. 
Okay, you're coming with me. We're going. This is a live, this is a live video. We're going to get my sassy Z. I'm wearing goddess today. Are y'all so excited for me? Okay. Here we go. Aw, yeah. Sassy Z is in the house. I've got them. In my house, Desiree. Nobody's going to steal them. Ta-da. Okay. Now, I got my Sassy Z. We can get back to business. Grandma's barking at my dog. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. I'm, t I'm serious. But I feel like, you guys, we can be so creative. Okay, let me throw this on my thing. Whew. I didn't go to the gym this morning. That was my cardio. That's so depressing. Okay, back to business. So, beauty books, do that, okay? What's next? Birthday club, loyalty club, um, where you can do buy 10 items, get the next one free of lip scents. That sounds like a good idea. Um, this is the worst live video ever. So horrible. Are you guys still there? Alex does buy nine, get the 10th free. Okay. Does anybody else do a loyalty card? Oh, you guys, it's a struggle. The struggle is real. All right. Give people a discount for adding new people to your group or for new sales or just referring them to you. I, I talked about that. Um, you don't, Des? I talked about that um, selfie thing on my bags. A couple of ladies have posted selfies since I put that um, selfie label on my bags. Um, okay, moving on. Sending letters to boutiques, spas, dental offices, um, salons, and be prepared. For the salons and spas, you may need to leave a kit for them to use. Be prepared that it may be a little bit of an investment, but it could bring a huge return if that salon signs up as a distributor. Suggest to the salon, if they don't already do these, a ladies' night. Um, it brings in customers. They have a couple of reps there from different companies, and people come in and drink wine and um, try the the different things that are there. So that might be good. I've also done a thing for a dentist office and I'm trying to think of how I can get into some other dentist office because that I sold 11 kits that day. Um, those ladies love it. They wear those masks all day and they don't ever get to wear lipstick because it all comes off. A pop-up shop in a coffee shop, that might be fun. And bridal salons. You know, women, they need stay on lipstick at their weddings. Hello. So bridal, bridal salons might be good. Medium sized makeup artists, new beauty, hair school grads, and photographers. That's a great idea. What do you mean? What are medium sized makeup artists? I don't know what that means. Tell me. Medium sized makeup artists. I'm trying to adjust this. Okay. Then, a couple other things. I am doing a book a bag this month, and so I was just gonna show you that. We learned this at training too, and I thought it was a great idea. So you put whatever you wanna put in there, something that's not gonna get you know, contaminated. It has to be a pump or something like that. You couldn't book a bag with lip scents, but you can with the face products with like the moisture, some of the moisturizers, um, the cleansers and things like that. So this is my little bag. It was a dollar. You can do whatever bag you want. Some experience with a following. Okay. 
where do you find those people? So I'm going to, I, I am going to be promoting this all month long. I list what is going to be in the bag and talk about the benefits of those items. I made these yesterday. I'm hoping to laminate them, but honestly, I may not ever have time to do that. So the color corrected tinted moisturizer, the Google, I love the Google and the silk. And this is all the information about what it does for your skin. This is all of the, um, the key ingredients, which isn't everything all scientific-y, but it's, it tells you pretty much what you're putting on your face, which I like. Um, and then I put a cute little saying up here, the perfect base for a flawless face. So these will be in there with the, um, with the items. And then brand new bottles, got my labels on there, brand new bottles of silk and tinted moisturizer. I only have it in medium, so even if they need light, they're getting medium. And they can try this for a week, and then the bag moves on to the next person. If I give the people new items, they decide to keep them, I'm going to let them keep those items because they're brand new and they're, they're already using them. But um, if they use it and decide they don't like it, then it gets passed on already used to the ne next customer. Um, and together, this is 105 So if I sold one of these a week, that's an extra $200 in my pocket a month. You could have two bags going at once, whatever you want to do. So that's my book of bag. I, I think it's a great idea. I, I loved the idea um, at the training. So I think that's it. Those were my brainstorming ideas. Does anybody have any questions about bookings, about other ways that they're trying to generate business? I love that idea of uh, makeup artists. There's so many ideas. The Google, check the Google out. So there's only four of you here, which is okay. Oh, and then I wanted to talk about our May incentives. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet, but there will be Lucy bags, or if I can get the the Lucky Seven bags, that will be one of the incentives. But it may be two two of those, and I haven't decided if it's PV or if it's for sponsoring. So I'm still figuring that out. So get excited about that. There'll be at least two Lucy bags. Two Lucy bags. Okay, are y'all ready? This was for. Um, the spa, 150 spa card. I love going to the spa. Love it. Okay. Alex, you are the wiener. Congratulations, Alex. I'll be sending that to you so you can go to the spa. How fun. That's exciting. Congratulations. So I just wanted to leave this with you just to remember to fail forward. Look at that as just a stepping stone onto your next great goal or adventure or, or whatever. And if you guys have problems or need somebody to talk to, let me know. Um, that's what I'm here for. If you need to brainstorm with somebody, brainstorm with me. That's what I'm here for. So. Anyways, I hope you have a good Thursday. I'm going out and I'm going to work in my garden today because it's so nice out and I haven't done that yet this spring and I'm depressed about it. So anyways, I love you all. See you next time. Bye.